When it comes to creating and designing landing pages, most of the people are doing it wrong. They don't understand the difference between a home page and a landing page and therefore are not able to generate more sales and leads. Today in this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know about landing pages. Like what is landing page, how to design the perfect landing page, A-B testing of your landing pages, key elements of landing pages, how to make your landing page more effective and obviously at the end of this video, I'll show you step by step how to create and design the landing page that converts best. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have already done that, then click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. All right, guys, now a landing page is a standalone website page that allows you to capture a visitor's information, generally their email address through a lead form, like you can see on your screen. Here we have a simple input over here. They can enter their email address and click on this button. So it's where a visitor lands when they have clicked on a Google AdWord ad, Facebook ad, Instagram ads, etc. Always remember one thing, a good landing page is always targeted and it offers something interesting to the visitor. Like in this example, I'm offering something really interesting to the visitor. And as you can see, it starts with free, which means that I'm offering something for free and they can simply enter their email address, click on this get, get, get it button and they will receive that page or that PDF, whatever it is. Now we are not covering how to target audience in this video because for that I will have to show you how to go how to do Google AdWords and Facebook advertising and that would make this video very long. In this video we are only covering the design and creation of the perfect landing page. Now I have opened some examples like as you can see on your screen. These are some really good landing pages that you can see on your screen. So as you can see, these are some different examples of landing pages. Now let me show you some key elements that are really important in creating the perfect landing page. And for this, I'm using this page. This is the conversionlab.no and this is their landing page or their homepage inspired landing page, you can say. All right, so the first thing that we have to take into consideration is that we want only one single action. Now, whenever a visitor visits your landing page, we don't want them to get distracted and disturbed by providing them many different links and many different call to action buttons. For example, as you can see here, we have one button here. We have two buttons. Only two different buttons are available over here. Okay, so we don't want to distract them. We want to limit the number of exits from your landing pages so that your visitors are focused on filling out of your form. Now, when you create a click on this button, they will get a form, but they are not redirected to some different page. They are still on the same page. Okay, like in this case as well, they simply type in their form, uh, their email address and click on this button. So the first important thing was to have just one single action and not to include many different links and many different call to action buttons. Now there's another important thing that we have to consider is that we want to make it and keep it very simple. Okay. We don't want to make it like, you know, designing is not the main part when it comes to landing pages. It is the content and we want to keep it very simple. Now, as you can see, this is also a very simple one. And this is the perfect uh, example I can uh, show you because if you see over here, let us see some different things over here. It is very simple. There's no uh, extra thing, no fancy thing going on over here. It's just a simple headline, a photo, and always remember to use uh, the original photos. Don't use any stock photos. You know, you can get stock photos from many different websites. Don't use them. Try to be as original as possible because we have to, you know, show the trust. We have to get the trust of that visitor so that they can see, you know what, this is a real website and this is something that I wanted. So always try to, you know, include a real image over here. Always remember to include your logo at the top so that they know where they are. Okay. Now I would highly recommend you to just uh, get rid of all these navigation buttons because obviously they, it will give them more options to exit of this page and go to some different page. But in this example, these are actually links. For example, if you see it is redirecting them to different section of the same page. So it is not that bad. You can have these kind of links, which will just redirect you to some different sections, but on the same page, a very important thing is to provide some value. 
now no one will uh, just come and click on this button or fill in your the fill in your fill in their email address and click on this button you have to give them some benefit okay that is what we call value proposition you have to provide them some value for example here i am giving them a pdf uh, which says how to succeed in life obviously it's just a simple title and you know i am providing them some value i am giving them a nice valuable thing for free so obviously this is what you want to do so the most of the cases you might want to give some free courses you can record uh, some videos and you want to give those things now it is really easy to get these leads and to increase the conversion if you want to make your conversion rate very high then i would highly recommend you to give something more valuable okay like as i said you earlier a video course or something like that that will improve the con uh, conversion and increase the conversion now most of the people simply give a pdf file that does work i'm not saying that it does not work like in this example as well i'm just showing how this is just a dummy thing so just uh, uh, this is just for tutorial purposes okay for example here i'm giving pdf like most of the people do it does work uh, obviously but the conversion rate is not that high but if you're giving them something valuable then obviously the conversion rate is very very high now another important thing is to include these things these bullet points okay try to keep uh, your page as i said you earlier as simple as possible and a very simple strategy applies over here which says less is more don't type a lot of words don't uh, put a lot of text in this page try to keep it as uh, simple and as less as possible okay as you can see I have some simple uh, bullet points over here and this is what actually I'm explaining in this video. What is a landing page, how to design the perfect landing page, A-B testing, key elements, how to make your landing page more effective. Now after that you will have your call to action and this is a call to action form and a button. And most of the time you'll have a simple call to action button when you click on this you might redirect them to some different page or something like that and in this example what I'm doing is I'm getting their email address so they will enter their email address click on this getting button then I will redirect them to some different page or a thank you page like you know that will say them that you are successfully uh, done we have received your mail and we will send a PDF to your email address or what you can do you can provide the email address on that thank you or you can provide that PDF on the thank you page as well I'll show you that in the later part of this video don't worry about that now a very important thing is also to consider the colors you know you have to see the contrasting colors for example this is the only color that you'll see over here now uh, if you see here also this is a very contrasting color especially i would highly recommend you to make your call to action button orange color you will see many different experts will say you that because that really works you know this is a, just a different color that you don't expect and it will really catch the uh, eye of any person can see this button it's a nice big button so make sure you have a nice big call to action button and try to make it uh, yellow or sorry try to make it orange and as i said to you earlier we have to do many different testings like a b testing you have to test many different you have to create different versions of a landing page and you have to test them for example you can create one landing page you can do some changes and create another landing page now the first landing page will be running for seven days and for the next seven days you can run the next landing page and you will see the difference suppose landing page b performs better than landing page a then obviously you should go with landing page b so there is a lot of testing going on you have to test a lot of things so that you know you get the highest uh, conversion rate that is what the main aim over here is now there is a very important thing uh, which I think everyone should consider. Now many people will say that a uh, landing page should have only one uh, section that is this section and people should not have this scrolling option like you can see this is a big landing page you have a lot of options over here. Some people will say that you know you can have different sections but this is the most important section but you can have different sections. So I think both of them are right and it all depends on you. I would recommend you and obviously I'll show you how to create that. But it is just talking now and the end of, and, and at the end of this video, we'll see how to do it. Now what I would recommend you is create two versions. For the first version, just create, just keep one section and for the second version, you have to create 
two, three different sections so that you know what is actually performing better. For example, if you see the demo that I have created here is the top section. Then after that, we have another section. Now there are a few sections that I think are very important. Obviously the first section is important. Then after that, this is another section. And in this section, you can include all the benefits that a person will get uh, when they sign up with over here or when they click on this on that call to action button. For example, you can have the same points over here, like I'll teach you how to create a landing page, but in a more uh, beautiful way, you know, including icons and all these things. But remember one thing, it is just some simple text and uh, images, but there's no call to action button or link. Now, like they won't be able to click on over here anywhere. Okay, so that they don't go to some different page. This is just some benefit that uh, we can, you know, provide them some benefit. Like, you know, if you sign up, you can get all this benefit. Now, after that, uh, you can have testimonials. I'll show you how to get this, uh, that testimonials. Like, as you can see, here it is. Now, there are different things that you can in, uh, include, and this will uh, improve and increase the trust factor on your website. Like, this is uh, some icons of the clients or the companies that we have worked with. Okay, so you can include this thing and it will improve the trust factor on your website or you can include testimonials. Now for testimonials, I would highly recommend you if you can uh, get video testimonials, that is the best. Okay, that really performs best. But if you cannot get that, then don't worry. You can simply use those simple testimonials, which I'll show you obviously in the end of this video again and again, I'm saying that. Now there's just one thing to consider when you're using the simple and normal testimonial is that you should include a real image of that person. You can simply ask them, can I use your Facebook or LinkedIn profile picture? And most of the time they will allow you to do that. So you can use their image, their company logo or their company name and their personal name, obviously their real name, and you can provide that testimonial. Now, when the people see that there's some real person giving testimonial, that really, you know, gives a lot of impact to your website. Okay, so these were a few important things to consider. And obviously, uh, try not to include a navigation. Now, there are two different uh, scenario over here. If you're making your home page as a landing page which uh, i which i don't think is a landing page but you know you can make your home page landing page inspired that is what i call it it could my home page is landing page inspired it's not actually a landing page it's landing page inspired because in landing pages i think not having a navigation like this menu is better okay so that they cannot go to some different pages and so on all right, guys, so let me show you how to create this landing page now and uh, let us apply all those things that we have learned. So first of all, uh, I am using WordPress. Now, first of all, uh, you need two things. Uh, one is a plugin. So you can click on appearances. This is the plugin I am using. Ocean WP. This is by far the best free theme that you can get in the market. Now, let's go to plugins. Now for plugins, we have, uh, these are two important plugins that we need Elementor and Elementor Pro. I have given the link to those in the video description below. Now, once you have the theme and the plugin, simply hover our pages and click on add new. Let's add and create a new page and let me name it landing page. Okay. So let's click on publish. Let's open this page. Let's view this page in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. So this is how it is looking. Okay. Uh, it has grabbed this thing, the right sidebar, as you can see some ads and all those things are going on. It has grabbed the footer and the title and all those things. Now, because it is our landing page, we don't want the sidebar. We don't want the footer. We don't want the title, anything over here. We want a simple blank page. So when you use ocean WP, you will get this option ocean WP settings. Okay, so when uh, once you come over here, you can select content layout and you can select 100% full width. You can disable the margins from here. Go to uh, title. You can disable the title as well. Go to footer and disable both these footers. Okay, now again, let's click on update. Come back to this page. Let's refresh it. All right, now as you can see, we have a simple blank page. Now, if you don't want the header as well, what you can do, you can simply 
go over here select header and disable header as well okay so this is also a very important thing so when i refresh now i don't even, i don't even have the header okay so i have a complete blank page so now let's start creating with elementor so you'll see this button edit with elementor click on that button all right guys so once you click on that button uh, edit with elementor you will see a page like this now the great thing about elementor is that you don't even have to create anything you get pre-made layouts that you can use and it will save a lot of time and that is exactly what we are going to do in this video so let's click on this button which says add template let's uh, click on that button now as you can see you have so many different and beautiful templates over here and at the bottom as you can see it says this is the home page template this is all the home page template then after that uh, there are many then is uh, then we have one page template okay then uh, about this template and after that you will see this landing page templates okay now most of them are pro version uh, if you see over here at the top it says pro so if you want these landing pages you'll have to use the pro version i would highly recommend you to use the pro version it's quite cheap it's not a big deal you can use it and the value that you get out of this plugin is really amazing okay so i am using this one so there are many different uh, landing pages that you can see and the great thing is that they don't just call it landing page they actually apply all the criteria all the essential things that a landing page must have like they have a nice call to action big call to action button they have testimonials and now all those things included over there okay so what i'll do is i'll select this one because that is what i have included in the demo so i'll select this i'll click on this insert button all right guys now as you can see everything is automatically done for me now i'll have to do some changes over here first of all as i said you earlier don't uh, use stock images try to use some real images that will be very beneficial for you so you can click on this and if you want to change this image you can simply delete it from here click on this plus button and add any image of your choice okay so i don't want to do that i want the same image which i think let's see what was this was the image so i want to uh, use the same image so i'll select this and click on insert media i don't want to change this image all right now after that this is our logo if you don't want this you can simply right click and delete this okay it's all up to you but i don't want to do that right now now this is one of the important thing you have to change the title give a really catchy title and try to start with the word free all of us love anything any stuff that we get for free so try to start your title with free and provide something for example in this case i'm providing free e-commerce course okay all right e-commerce course so i'm providing them free e-commerce course and by the way if you want uh, you can see this is a really good e-commerce website uh, tutorial that you can watch so what i can do is for example if you if i want to generate more leads more email address i can simply create a video like this okay free uh, using and i have created this video e-commerce video using a free theme free plugins everything free so people are really interested in these kind of thing where they get everything for free so i can create a video like this and i can provide that for free so that people can you know enter their email address get and get that course or get that video all right so once you put in the title you can add some subtitle for example you can simply click on over here you can change the text and as i said you earlier you can also okay this is not the one as i said you earlier you can also use uh, those uh, bullet points if you want or you can simply change the subtitle from here just to explain like you know i can type something uh, about this course like uh, this course uh, all right so i'm not doing that typing thing over here because it's really difficult when you if you want to talk and type it is really really difficult so I, i'm not going to type that but i'm explaining you what you can type for example in that course as i said you earlier i'm using a free theme so that is a great thing people will save a lot of money on theme i'm using all the free plugins again a great thing people will save a lot of money on plugins and so on it's a step by step and in-depth tutorial so that is a great thing for people so i can include all those features in uh, in uh, bullet points over here now after that this is the most important step over here we have uh, this uh, email address section so what you can do you have to select this section and you, if you want to change if you want to add some options by the way you can 
add some options like you if you want to set, get the name and mobile number as well you can get that but in that case in this case i want only the email address okay so if you want to make some changes like if you want to change the placeholder here it says email suppose if you want to change the placeholder you can click on this it will maximize and we can change the placeholder now i can type in enter your email address okay now as you can see here it says enter your email address now similarly for button you can do that you can change the color and all those things i'm not doing that okay uh okay so what i'll do is uh the most important thing over here is action after submit okay so here you have to put two things okay or maybe just one thing do this thing mailchimp now for most of you guys if you're following my step you will not see this mailchimp option for that let me show you what you have to do you have to go to your dashboard and open mailchimp in a new tab mailchimp.com so that we can and if you don't have a mailchimp account it's really easy it's free you can you know sign up for free it's a free thing you can uh, do email marketing using free mailchimp account so i already have a account so i'll simply click on login now i want to get my api code so what i can do i can click on over here then i can click on profile and here we'll see different options so i'll click on extra and here we have the api key option click on that now you'll see your api key over here simply copy it from here if you don't see simply click on this create a key button it will create a key for you now after that you can click on this come to your dashboard and you'll see at the left hand side elementor how are elementors and click on settings now go to integrations and search for mailchimp here it is now i already have this key over here so what you have to do you have to simply paste in this key and click on validate api key now as you can see we have this thing green tick mark it has it is a valid api key so once you do these settings you can uh, use mailchimp so i am typing mailchimp over here in the add action so basically what we are doing is we are giving one option like once the person enters their email address and clicks on this button what should that button do so i am saying that that button should send this email address to mailchimp okay so that is basically what it means now if you want to do several uh, you know multiple actions allow like when this button is clicked when the email address is entered and button is clicked now this email address should be sent to mailchimp and also it should be emailed to me so i'm se selecting this email now every time a person will enter an email address and click on get in uh, they will be added to my mailchimp list and also their email address will be sent on my email address okay i hope that is clear now because we have entered two actions we have two options over here email now you have to enter the email address that you want to receive all the information on now after that we have mailchimp now it will show api key default and if you have created different list you will see all those lists now you have to select the list in that you want to uh, enter all those guys okay so if you don't, if you don't already have a list simply go to list and click on add new or create list and you can uh, just create a list click on this button and simply create a list give it a name and all those things so i am selecting this list maybe list 3 okay now you can also give them some group okay so that you will understand much better like you can give it give a group like landing page so that you will know that all those peoples are coming uh, from that landing page okay now make sure this thing is not tick mark if you tick mark this thing what will happen is once they enter their email address they will have to verify the email address so i don't recommend that so make sure it is uh, just unticked over here now after this click on update whenever you do some changes make sure to click on update all right guys so after this we have two different buttons over here i don't want that so i'll simply delete this complete section okay so with this we have successfully completed the first section after that we have the second section if you don't like this section you can simply delete this complete section you don't have to use the default thing that you get you can add and uh, separate something now what i'm doing is i'm adding my own favorite section so i'll click on this plus button to add a section over here again i'll click on this button add template and now instead of using pages i'll use blocks okay so you have this blocks option over here 
and because we want to include something like features and benefits i can select a block category and i can select this thing features or oh, where it is gone here it is features select this thing and you'll have different styles of features over here so maybe let's select this one okay i'm selecting this one let's select this and click on insert now let me get rid of this title as well now i have my features over here okay so design digital marketing and i can uh, do all these changes and i can change this text i can simply click on this all services in one place instead of this i wanted to say uh, benefits of or whatever uh, like uh, course includes okay so i can say this thing course includes and i can put in everything that is included in this course or benefits of you of uh, seeing that course or downloading that course you can include something like that you get my point okay so you can suppose this is uh, i click on this one first one uh, and i change the title instead of design i type in free theme okay and instead of this thing i type in uh, free theme is used in that uh, course okay in the course so you get the idea that is how it works okay so you can use all those things now after that we also want to include a testimonial that will improve the tra uh, trust factor on our website people will trust it uh, more better so what i'll do i'll always click on, again click on this plus button click on this add template and go to blocks and this time let's select testimonials so here it is last option testimonials now as you can see there are many different options like slider simple one and uh, simple testimonials like this one so if you want to uh, use this slider one you can simply click on insert now here we this is what i was talking about we have an image over here uh, this testimonial text now when you click on this you can change everything for example here it is item one you select this if you want to change the image obviously it is not possible to teach these things in detail uh, as i have said you earlier if you want to learn about elementor uh, about all these things in detail go watch my elementor tutorial that will be more beneficial for you okay so uh, i'm just showing you uh, from top so we are not going in depth in this video okay so this is how it is uh, it works you can change the content from here for example i want to say awesome course obviously uh, you have to uh, type something uh, two three on two three lines and you have you can change the uh, image from here you can change the name from here for example let me put in this name this is a girl so i'm putting this name uh, their title uh, this is not a ceo she can never be a ceo i know for uh, for the fact so i will type something like manager all right so this is uh something like this or maybe instead of title it here it says title you can type in the company name as well like manager of abc incorporation okay now this is how it looks and when you click on this we have you have the item 2 or the testimonial 2 now we can select the testimonial 2 and do the similar changes okay i don't know how to do that i'll simply click on update now if you want to design it much better go watch that tutorial i'll i have explained everything about designing it in a much better way now after that we have this section so i don't want this button over here so i'll simply delete this button and what i'll do is i'll copy this thing so you just it's all simple easy stuff if you want to copy this simply uh go just right click over here click on copy come at the bottom right click over here click on paste and you have the same thing over here okay now you have you don't have to do any settings over here like action after submit uh, and mailchimp setting because all the settings that you have done over here is applied over here that's a great thing now this is the uh, um, carousel the icon carousel that you can see you know where is that gone i think i messed with it okay let me paste in this first of all and oh, okay here it is okay so what we can do if you want to change these icons you can click on this you have all these icons over here if you want to delete or add something you can delete it from here if you want to add something in this list you can click on add to gallery you can select whatever image you want for example if you want this image you can select add to gallery i want to add this at the top the first icon okay so you can include all those icons of the company that you're working with or you have worked with 
that will be much better. Okay, so I'm including this and click on insert gallery. And as you can see that icon is showing up over here. You can change the icon size, all those things from here. Now let's click on update. So creating, uh, basically creating this kind of design, we have a simple idea. Like, you know, first of all, when the person comes to this page, they'll see, okay, we are getting some free e-commerce course. And after that, they'll see all the benefits of this course or all the features in this course. Then they'll see some testimonials, some students who have uh, seen this course or who have, you know, go, gone through the course and they have some positive testimonials for you. Then after that, we have this thing uh, again, a call to action thing. Now we are not having two different call to action. Don't remember that it's same call to action thing. Okay. We are including this call to action at the bottom because we don't want the user to again go at the top to enter their email address. So once they have scrolled, let them uh, do this thing over here. Okay, so they can either do at the top or at the bottom. Both the options are available. So once you're done with all these things, you can simply uh, click on this I button preview changes button and you will see your landing page just like this. Okay. And if you want to make this page as your home page, what you can do, first of all, it was landing page. If you remember the title of the page was landing page. Now, if you want to make this as your home page or your landing page, whatever you call it, you can simply go to dashboard and from here, you'll see settings, how are settings click on readings and home page you can make the landing page that we have just created click on save changes let's go to the home page now let's see how it looks now as you can see this is our home page now okay so this is a landing page inspired home page you can call it a landing page because you don't have any uh you know menus any uh you know navigation bar or anything like this okay or what you can do is uh i would recommend you not to have something like this on your home page obviously you don't have any menus or something like this but what you can do you can copy that link like your website name slash landing page and you can promote that uh page uh, using google adsense uh, google uh, adwords or facebook ads and all those things that will be more beneficial for you now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys liked it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any queries, any questions for me, if you want to, uh, if you have any request for me, like if you want to have, or if you want to, if you want me to create a certain type of tutorial for you, let me know in the comment section below. Okay. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video.